Epic Games Evil Incorporated. Right, I got some ideas for uh, season 10. All right, let's hear it. Let's call it S10. Don't you think that sounds a little bit like uh, Samsung S10? You're right. Let's call it Season X iPhone, but whatever. What's gonna happen to the map? We'll make it like the Season 1 map. Huh? Yeah, we already did that in Season 1. Yeah, but this is Season X. Aren't we going to like update the map to keep things fresh? What is it? Well, we kind of used up our resources on that um, monster robot thing fight. Oh, but how do we even just turn back time to season one without screwing up the storyline? By turning back time. So everything that's happened up until this point is just irrelevant then? Yes, years of work just thrown out the window, tossed in the trash. Just go all Game of Thrones season eight on them? Absolutely. Completely scrapped and infinity snapped. Pitched and ditched. What's next? In season 11, some guy just wakes up and it was all just a dream. <laughs> How about if we put all these different storyline events in some alternate dimensions so it kind of feels like they still mattered? Sure. There's also going to be robots. What? They can stomp and they can shoot and they can jump really high. Seems pretty strong. Like some sort of kill streak reward? No, it just drops randomly. So more overpowered RNG. Infinity Sword all over again. It also farms materials. So when the enemy finally destroys your overpowered robot, you can just keep boxing up for days. Exactly. It feels like this is a decision that will anger both casual players and pros alike. Absolutely. Why? To keep the game fresh. What keeps the game fresh? Anger. You might be right. Also the colors of the buildings in Dusty Depot, they're gonna be in the wrong order. Come again. Keeping the game fresh and exciting. But that doesn't make any sense. If we went back in time, shouldn't it be the same? Do flying buses and tiny trampolines that shoot you sky high make sense? Thought so. So uh, Dusty finally has good loot now that it's fresh and exciting. Nah, no, it's still terrible. All right, so no one's gonna land there despite it being the only change to the map. There's a giant meteor frozen in time right above it. Pretty cool. It'll balance things out. We vaulted some vehicles too. Vehicles, huh? Ballers, quad crashers, mounted turrets. Also campfires now heal vehicles. What vehicles are we going to heal? I don't know. Maybe those uh, robots? Or drift boards? Sure. Uh, the snow, is it finally gone? Nope. So we're keeping it until winter and then when winter finally comes we're gonna have to keep it another couple of seasons? Right on. Exciting. Since we're keeping it on the low and vaulting a couple things, I guess the patch is not going to be too big, right? No, it's going to be the biggest patch in Fortnite history. Oh. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed it. helps me out so much. Thank you. So we're keeping it until the winter, and then when winter finally comes, we're going to have to keep it on. When winter finally comes, we're going to have to keep it on. Keep it on. When winter comes, we're going to have to keep it on. Keep it. We're going to have to keep it on. Keep it on. Sweating bullets, guys. Till winter, and then when winter finally comes, we're gonna have to keep it another couple of seasons.